I'm a little just... Oh my gosh, this looks so creepy. It kind of looks like a spider. <gasps> it comes with batteries. Hey guys, it's Lisette here. So I decided to buy a bunch of weird stuff off the internet for my hair in honor of it being pink and seeing if they work or not. When I was doing my research, I found one channel. Her name is Amber. She uses a lot of like weird hair stuff and tests it on her curly hair. So please make sure to check out her channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be testing out four different hair tools and basically giving you guys my opinion on them to see if they work or not. <sighs> The very first thing I'm gonna try is this electric detangling brush. It's from Remington. I hope this doesn't need batteries. Um, man. Dang, double A batteries. So this apparently needs batteries. I am going to find a screwdriver if I have one, find some batteries and I'll be right back. Just ran up and down the stairs, but I found a little screwdriver, and so hopefully this is the right fit. And, whew, I'm out of breath. So I'm just gonna unscrew this at the bottom. Two double A batteries. The instructions were saying to work in small sections. I'm starting on the back of my hair. I took this section out. I'm just spritzing it with a little bit of water. I'm using a little bit of this Briogeo um, leave-in defining cream. I usually work my fingers through and I'm trying not to so that I can actually see if it combs through. Okay, so it's basically saying work your way up to the top, which is how I do my hair anyways. So I'm gonna cut it on. Let me do another section before I give my my thoughts on this because I'm a little just and then just kind of smoothing it over my hair. It combs through really gently, that's for sure, but it's also making my hair really undefined and it's like breaking all the curls up. This is what my theory is, that the vibration kind of like takes away from the fact that your hair is being combed because you feel it through. Like my, I feel the vibration up to my scalp when I'm combing it. And it's almost like, if I was a kid and I was afraid of getting my hair combed, then maybe this might relax me a little bit, I guess, if that makes any sense. But let me be real, is this something that I would ever use again? No, I'm probably gonna give this to my niece because she'll probably have fun with it. Since I have this section down, the next thing that I'm going to be testing out is this twist secret. And so basically this is supposed to Oh my gosh, this is probably gonna have batteries. I don't know how many batteries I have. <gasps> it comes with batteries. This is supposed to help you apparently do really elegant, beautiful hairstyles as such. Oh my gosh, this comes with a screwdriver. Screwdriver and batteries. Wow, I should have did this first. This is a machine. This is a little tool that's supposed to twist your hair and give you like perfect two strand twists. These screws are so freaking small that it's hard to like get it in there. Okay, so I definitely wanna read the instructions on this because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna do a small section by my face. Actually, I'm not gonna do a section by my face because what if it messes up? I decided on doing a section in the back just in case if my hair rips out. <laughs> You wanna do two sections. This section? Ah! Uh. 
put that in there. And then this in here. So we have two sections. You wanna twist it. And then you wanna rotate it this way. just get my hair out of this freaking especially with the ends like since my hair is color treated I really have to be careful because I don't want to damage anything <gasps> look at that wow I want to do another section just to see I'm doing a thicker section this time so let me see how it performs with that I'm gonna open up this side put my hair in Open up this side and put my hair in. Okay, my thing is like kind of messing up, but. Okay. Maybe if I did a better looking section, it wouldn't be messed up. So let me try it one more time. Put it in there. Yeah, my thing is like low key already broke. Let's try this again. I'm going up. And then I'm gonna turn. Clearly, this one works. I feel like this is really cool, but at the same time, I do feel like it was cheaply made. Even the little thingies right here at the top, they're kind of getting stuck. But other than that, I feel like it did a really pretty good job, actually. I mean, of course, my sections aren't perfect and I didn't do it perfect, but I really do feel like if you worked at this, you could really just have perfect two-strand twists. Is this something that I would recommend? I feel like it's something that is definitely worth just trying out and seeing how it would be but overall I'm really happy with the fact that it actually twisted my hair I put my hair into a low bun in order to prep for the next tool this is a electric head massager I have really been into scalp massages and especially like for hair growth and things like that I am really trying to you know do what i can to be able to get my hair growing so once i heard that there was an electric scalp massager i was really interested because i've never heard of this before like i've heard of ones that you manually kind of like this is scary looking <laughs> this looks really scary and you know my first initial thought is that your girl's head's not gonna fit on this this looks pretty tiny but it comes with instructions but i think it's pretty just standard you put it on and you press the button and there you go it's already charged a little bit and it has these lights in here oh my gosh this looks so creepy it kind of looks like a spider <sighs> I don't know how to put it on without hurting myself. Oof. Oof. <sighs> First of all, ow. This is very tight. This is not made for an adult. There's no way. I mean, maybe my head's just big, but... You see what this is doing to my hair? Do you hear that? Oh my gosh, it's giving me chills! Setting one is more of like a pulsating and let's see what setting number two is. Setting number two is consistent. I don't really know how to feel because at first I was like, mm, 
But now that it's actually on and it's massaging and it's vibrating, I don't know, I feel like would I ever use this? Probably. I'm hoping that I can stretch out the things. Like maybe I'll just kind of like try to stretch it. I feel like this could be cool. Like at night, maybe for 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes, you put this on, help relax you, help circulate the blood flow to help with hair growth, all that good stuff. It is really tight. I don't know if it's just my head, my head shape. I'm a little bit offended by that. But at the same time, it feels really nice. I really love just having my hair be played with and I love like ASMR and all those things that give you tingles and this is definitely sending chills down my arms. Woo. Okay, a lot easier to take off than to put on. I don't know if these can be stretched, but okay, so I stretched it a little bit and now it's not as tight. Okay. I have to say that this might be my new favorite thing in the world. I am pleasantly surprised by this. I feel like once you kind of like low key almost break it, <laughs> open it to be able to match your head shape, it goes on a lot more smoothly. Anyways, now that my hair is messed up, I really need something to be able to style my hair for today because you know, I'm not trying to just look like this all day long. So the last and final thing I'm gonna be testing out, which there was a huge craze about this a couple months ago, waveformers. Waveformers, whatever they're called. Um, basically, they're supposed to give your hair like a wave without straightening, without heat. I'm all for it. Like I'm not straightening my hair this year. And so if I can do something to help you know, change up my hairstyle because I'm getting a little bit bored with it. And especially with the pink, I feel like it would look really cool. There's different colored ones. There's ones that are blue and yellow, and then there's the orange and pink ones. And so I think these might be the shorter ones. Don't quote me on that. And it also comes with a little thingy hook situation. Mm. Whew. Okay, I got two packs because I didn't know how many I would need and I didn't want to run out halfway, but I'm just basically gonna start doing my hair. I'm gonna start from the back. I'm gonna apply a little bit of the leave-in. And then also, because I know my hair, I'm not really good with just leave-ins and creams. I need some sort of gel or something. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this Weedod Climate Control Gel, just because it's lightweight and it's not gonna be too heavy or anything. I'm putting it through this. I'm taking my hair, I'm twisting it, holding the hook and pulling my hair through the waveformer. And there's my first one. side and it's been 30 minutes which isn't too too bad I'm just gonna move on to the next side and I also have a lot of pink left over so I didn't use all the pink I don't really think it matters on the ones that you use on either side But we must finish. We are very close to finishing. So I will not give up. I am finally on my very last section. And so I'm hoping that I can fit all this into one. I have officially, after about an hour and 15 minutes, finished all my hair. 
It's actually pretty late right now, so I think I'm gonna attempt to sleep with them. Alrighty, so I'm gonna come back tomorrow to show you guys the final look because my hair right now is not dry. I need my hair to be completely dry, and I could diffuse my hair and blow dry it and dry it that way, but it's pretty late right now, and so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go to sleep like this and probably have really bad sleep tonight, but pray for me and hopefully in the morning my hair looks amazing, but anyways, I'm gonna come back and show you guys the final looks and yeah. So here's my dilemma. As you can see, I am fresh faced, ready to go to sleep. Um, I have this kind of tied up, ready to go. I lay down on my pillow. <laughs> I cannot sleep. What I'm gonna do is take them out tonight, hopefully pray that I can preserve them overnight and I'll see the final result in the morning. So that's the plan. But they have been in my hair for officially mm, six hours. So I definitely think they're ready to go. So I'm just gonna start to remove them. <laughs> okay, so I have them all officially out of my hair. This is what my hair looks like. The only one that's kind of messed up is like this one right here. Next one I'm gonna do is just slowly take my fingers and kind of break up the waves. So this is what my hair is looking like. I feel like I tried to really fix it as much as possible. I tried using an oil to help with the frizz, but overall I just think that, you know, my hair doesn't look too bad. It's more of like that effortless kind of like beachy look, but it's definitely not something like super put together and super nice as if I were to straighten my hair and then curl it, which is kind of what I thought it would give the illusion, kind of like a smoothed, elongated wave. Overall, it's giving me some length. I love the pink, I love the wave, but the thing is, is like I really wish that it was a little bit more defined and that it wasn't as frizzy, but I probably blame myself on my technique because I've seen other people do it and it looks perfect. So it really just depends on how you're doing it, what products you use and all that good stuff. But this was my first time using them and I do have to say, I don't know with time, if I would ever get better just because it took so long. Overall, if you have the patience and the time and if you have somebody to help you, then I think that this could be a really cool way to get like, you know, these really pretty waves, but it's hard. It's really hard, it's tedious. For me, it was a challenge and you know, these are my results. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I feel like I could use a curling wand and kind of like fix it up and make it look better so that's probably what i'll do but the whole point is like to not use heat but i'm definitely gonna fix it up because i know i just didn't do all this work for no reason i'm gonna go to sleep see what i can do with this in the morning fix it up and i'll let you guys know the final results today's the next morning i slept with my hair like this on a satin pillow and I'm really nervous and excited to see how my hair looks because I just don't know if it preserved overnight because look. playing around with it right now but this is basically the final look I smoothed out 
the roots right here and I added some wand curls like basically only on the crown and in the front so it kind of gives the illusion that my hair is a lot more put together and you know I kept everything inside how it was before but just added the curls on top to kind of give the illusion that my hair you know has been curled with a wand what do you guys think do you like it do you hate it I'm kind of on the fence about it I feel like it's really carefree kind of beachy vibes but I typically like more defined hair so that's why I'm kind of like eh. but I still feel like it's a really pretty look and overall I'm happy that I could make my hair work for today because I was like you know these waveformers you know I just don't think they're for me I just don't if you liked this video then please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time